<laughs> what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. Today we are finally, finally, finally working on the sporty uh, first mod we're gonna be doing to the bike is exhaust, obviously, because um, this bike stock sounds like. Uh, you want to come say hi to the camera, sir, or no? He's just here drinking my beer. He's not even helping me hi, out today. YouTube. He's just here drinking. Yeah, no, he's just, just drinking, drinking beer. my beer. Just drinking beer. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start taking the uh, stock exhaust off. We went ahead and we went with some Vance Hines short shots. Obviously, in all black, we're gonna keep that nice look. Um, pretty simple install. I've done a few exhaust installs before, um, so I might link one of them at the end of the video for you guys to see. Uh, but we're going to be taking this step by step for anyone who is interested in learning how to install one of these uh, Vance High pipes. Very, very simple. You just need some simple tools and um, like I always say, if I could do it, you could do it. So first we're going to start by just uh, loosening up the back exhaust uh, from the bracket. And then we'll uh, do the same thing for the front one. We'll take the heat shields off if anything, we'll wiggle them off. Um, and then we'll go up to the, uh, the top right here in the head and we'll take that up I went ahead already and I went to my local Harley dealership to pick up some new exhaust gaskets So the only thing you're gonna need is new exhaust gaskets Obviously the pipes and some tools and that's basically it Exhaust gaskets are gonna run you like maybe 14 bucks um, And that's just so you don't get any type of exhaust leaks or anything like that <laughs> The next thing you want to do is that you're going to want to take off this heat shield off the pipe so you can get into the gasket head and then loosen that up and the whole pipe should come out. First heat shield off. two sensors we gotta take off from that side. Alright guys, so ready went ahead. I unplugged the, the O2 two sensors off the other side. We got the whole exhaust off. Next step to do now is gonna be to uh, unplug these O2 two sensors from here because we're gonna be reusing these and that's it. We're pretty much done with the exhaust here. Alright guys, so these O2 sensors are pretty easy to take off. You just take your wrench, put it in there, and just give it a little kick. So the next step is going to be to take off these rings right here. I like to use these, uh, the spreader, plier spreader thing. Uh, put it right in between, spreads out, and it pops right out. If you want, I mean, some people do this with a flathead. I like using this little tool because it just spreads it out. Snap ring pliers. pliers. Snap ring pliers. Thank you, Jerry. Then this slides right off. Um, this we're gonna need for the, the Vance and Hines exhaust as well. So you're gonna need that stock piece right there. Next step is gonna be to take this primary cover off here. We went ahead and I took off the bottom ball. <laughs> So you're gonna wanna unscrew this part right here. That's gonna give you access to take this cover off the back, just like that. And now we have access to unscrew this part right here. That's what we're trying to get into. Just so you guys know, it's like 90 degrees out today. So in here is like 95. So, so I'm dripping off. My whole head is dripping right now. So now that we got this out the way, that's for the, the bracket for the stock exhaust. We're gonna go ahead and install our bracket for the Vance and Hines exhaust now. We already went ahead and we installed the bracket that Vance and Hines provides. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is that we gotta put our flanges over the pipe, then our C-clips. Same way we took it off, we put it back on. That space right here, we're gonna space out. Now we're gonna take our stock O2 sensor and we're gonna screw it back on there. If you wanna add some Loctite, go ahead. Nice and tight in there. All right, so obviously I'm wearing a different t-shirt, a uh, hat now, and it's two days later. So guess what? Anything that could have gone wrong with this install went wrong. 
Uh, I'm talking about all rusty bolts, uh, rusty screws, and everything. So, uh, me and Jerry, Jerry's back again. Say hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> uh, uh, we decided to go to Garden State earlier to pick up everything that I needed. And also, I did pick up some exhaust gaskets from last time. Um, the ones that I showed in the video before we cut it off that night. Um, but they didn't work. Uh, let me see. Why are they? Nah. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, so the ones they gave me were not these. These are the ones that I'm used to using on my installs. These are very, very nice. And these are the Screaming Eagle ones. They go in right away. The ones that I picked up last time, they were like taller and bulkier. I, I didn't like the way, and they wouldn't even go in. So yeah, I had to get these instead. But anyways, we are gonna try to finish this install today. Cause yeah, the other day was like, like 10 o'clock. And I'm like, you know what? It's not gonna work out. It's just, it was like 91 degrees in here. I wasn't thinking straight either. So everything's chill now. We got everything we need, and hopefully we get to do or get this done today. So yeah, uh, we're gonna be putting these exhaust gaskets in here. So these go right in there, nice and flush. And then that's where the exhaust is gonna sit on. This is gonna prevent any leaks, exhaust leaks. And it'll burn as soon as you turn your exhaust on it'll burn into it so you will see some smoke coming out of your heads uh, which is totally normal that's just the exhaust settling in uh, with the new uh, exhaust uh, head all right so now that we got our exhaust gasket right where it goes in the head i went ahead and i installed the heat shield on the pipe and with the rings around it, locking it up, making it nice and firm, holding it in place right there. On the other night, we already went ahead and we put back the uh, exhaust flange on here. So we're just gonna go ahead and meet this up with the bolts on top. The O2 sensor wiring you're gonna put over to the side because that's what's gonna go connected. Um, and we're gonna play with this right here, hold it in place. When you Just remember when you start screwing everything in, uh, you're gonna do everything little by little, not all at once, just so you can have a little more wiggle room before you tighten everything up. What we're actually gonna do first, so we're gonna take our nut plate, which connects the exhaust to the bracket that Vansa Hyde provides for you. So we're gonna slip this into the back before I do this, and um, start screwing it in. So I'm gonna have my bud here. He's gonna hold it in place while I put the first nut onto the top right here. So some advice is for you to have, if you don't have it, you get yourself some universal joint sets. This allows you to get in those hard spots to get into. Um, Cause otherwise you really kind of won't be able to do it. So this allows me to just put this in there the way I'm doing. We need a little beer break. So beer me. Cheers, Jerry. Cheers. Boom. So the exhaust bolts, right? Originally, they came all the way out of the heads, so that's why we had to get new ones. And right now, what we had to do is that we had to uh, double nut it and screw it back in, and then we were like, scared, because if we stripped that, then we gotta take it to a shop for sure. But we got them in, both in, both good. Uh, so now we're just gonna move forward. We're gonna go ahead and install the front pipe, which goes in the bottom right here. So real simple. Things are starting to move very, very progressively now. Hmm. Oh, Juice IPA. If you guys have not tried this beer, this Juice Bomb IPA, it's like this shit. It's from Sloop Brewery, uh, the one from the group ride that I went up to one that time. We're gonna have our nut plate right here in the back, which we're gonna slip in. And then these two screws right here from the back. We take it from the back of the plate um, and that'll hold it in place. You don't want to go ahead and tighten all this up so you can have a little uh, lag for you to play around with the, with the top of the exhaust out here on top. So now that that's in place, we'll push it in place. We'll put our flange on our uh, exhaust heads, exhaust bolts, and then we can start screwing in the, um, the nuts. So we're pretty much done with this. All we're going to do is just connect the O2 sensors on the other side and boom but another issue is that 
we probably won't be done today because the O2 sensor from the front pipe from the stock one won't come off. Um, then we tried spraying WD-40 on it, wouldn't come off. Then we stripped that ball, wouldn't come off, and then it just broke off. So, yeah, we got one O2 sensor on here. So now, so now we gotta wait till tomorrow so I go buy another one. But I'm still gonna try to turn it on and see if it works. Because if it were to work, you know, then uh, I'll add it on. Notice that I didn't put the shield, the heat shield on this one yet just so I can have a little more space to play with here in the front because the front exhaust uh, it's a little tricky with the amount of space you have to play with. There we go. Have you got to tighten everything up and then we are all set to go. All right, so we have both exhausts on. I have one O2 sensor on, which already connected to the side. I didn't show that because it's just literally plug and play. It's common sense. Um, like I said before, the front exhaust does not have an O2 sensor. I gotta get it. I'm still gonna turn it on. I'm not gonna take it out for a ride, but I'm gonna turn it on to see if it, if it works. But um, I don't try this at home. Ready? <laughs> and here we go. So awesome, it does sound pretty good, um, but obviously there's one pipe that's running leaner than the other one. So obviously we're not gonna take the bike out for a ride. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna stop by my local Harley and pick up that O2 sensor. Once we put the O2 sensor on, then we'll take it out for a ride. We'll give you guys a full in-depth ride review and sound and everything like that. But for now, this was the install, pretty easy. Nah, this, 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 this one wasn't easy. Usually it is pretty easy, but... It's also for us to Yeah. W w without all these things going on or going wrong, um, it's, it's a pretty simple install. Um, I've done a, quite a few installs before on different bikes, and I've never had issues like I did with this bike. So as long as your bike is not rusty and old and used and this and that, you should be A-OK. -okay. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and I've got to install this amazing looking air cleaner also by Vance and Heinz it's gonna look amazing can we just get a shot of that no it's not that one it's the that box or the one behind oh there we go it's like a shoe box but it's not so Vance and Heinz air cleaner as well package stuff this thing looks sick so if you want to see the install for this as well it's, it's gonna be an easy install trust me uh tune in for the channel like comment subscribe i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace